Coming up on Look Today, well, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand and Congressman Paul Tonko held a roundtable discussion on financial scams targeting seniors. I've got details. Plus, the rest stop between exit 17 and 18 will undergo a big renovation project. More on that coming up. And the Hyde Collection Art Museum in Glens Falls receives a $50,000 donation. I've got those details. All ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson. This is Look Today. On tonight's program, I sit down with Angela Miller. Now she's owner of Consider Bardwell Farm and we're joined by Kelly Taylor. She's co-owner of R.S. Taylor and Sons Brewery. And they're here to talk about the 2017 Washington County Cheese Tour. That's happening September 9 and 10. Plus, I also sit down with Dave Krause. He's a member of the Mohawk Hudson Cyclist Club. He's here to talk about their upcoming Century Cyclist Weekend in Saratoga. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand and Congressman Paul Tonko held a roundtable meeting at the Adult and Senior Center of Saratoga. Now, the discussion was on financial scams targeting seniors. More than 25 million Americans are victims of this scam every year, many of which are older citizens. Well, Senator Gillibrand announced the Senior Financial Empowerment Act, which will aim to provide better help for seniors. Well, we spoke to the senator about, about providing this important service for our seniors. Right now, many agencies have a responsibility, and we found that if you can uh, put all those resources in one place, uh, with a 1-800 number, with uh, ability to do outreach and funding, that we think the message about how to avoid fraud and more resources to combat fraud will be available. What a great initiative. Well, in other news, the rest stop and information area between exit 17 and 18 on I-87 will undergo a $1 million renovation. Now, the project will add a lobby room and an entrance space to the facility. Now, this will provide additional room for the Lake George Regional Chamber of Commerce. They're going to use the space as a welcome area for tourists visiting the Southern Adirondacks. We spoke to Mike Consulo. He's Executive Director, Lake George Regional Chamber of Commerce. It's just a great uh, facility to meet people and find out what their travel habits are and where they're going and hopefully put a little seed in their mind that if they're not going to Lake George, maybe they ought to stop and on their way back or come back at another time. Yeah. Okay, switching from news to weather. Temperatures remain in the mid-60s. That's right, 60s. It's definitely cold out there. And we can expect higher winds tomorrow. But let's see how the rest of the week is shaping up in the first look at this weekend. So for a more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Thank you, Jesse. Here's your first look weather forecast. First, the national map. We have a steady stream frontal boundary along the Gulf Coast, keeping Tropical Storm Harvey offshore for now. It's going to eventually make its way towards the Texas Louisiana coastline, projecting a landfall Wednesday. Some areas could see an additional 8 to 12 inches on top of about two to three feet of rain, especially towards the Houston and Galveston areas. Meanwhile, high pressure in the Midwest, low pressure in a trough towards Indiana, Ohio and Michigan, and that's going to be high pressure for us here in New England, despite a, a potential tropical cyclone just off the Mid Atlantic coast. What we'll see for the Northeast tonight will be relatively Clear skies, mostly clear, maybe partly cloudy in some areas, but cool temps only in the upper 40s across the southern part of the Capital District, just 48 in Fort Edward and Wright Hall. Glens Falls will see an overnight low of 47 degrees, and we could see some spots in the lower 40s as you head towards Johnsburg and Parsville at elevation. We'll see mostly cloudy skies and a cool night, mostly sunny high of 74 for our Wednesday. As you look at the outdoor forecast, a cool start like as I mentioned, only mid 50s, upper 50s through your 8 a.m. hour. And our extended forecast will see temperatures rising back up to the lower 70s after a morning low of 53. Slight chance of showers and storms Thursday before the sunshine returns. And even cooler temperatures yet, just mid 40s for Thursday night, 65 the afternoon high on Friday. Very fall like, and even more fall like as we head towards Friday night. 
low temp, 42 degrees, 72 the afternoon high on Saturday with sunshine. Reminisce some more football weather as we head towards our Labor Day weekend. Slight chance of showers on Sunday. That's a look at the first look weather forecast. I'm meteorologist Clarence Ponser. Now I send it back to you, Jesse. Thanks, Clarence. All right, back to the news. Well, the high collection in Glens Falls has announced it's received a $50,000 donation. Well, the contribution jumpstarts the Hyde's mission of raising $120,000. Now, this year's fall gala will raise some additional money and will also honor the former executive director of the museum, Erin Coe. Well, the donation, by the way, was made by Cam Hoops, the great-grandson of Mary Prine Hoops. Up next, I sit down with Angela Miller. She's co-owner of Consider Bardwell Farm. And we're joined by Kelly Taylor. She's co-owner of R.S. Taylor & Sons. They're here to talk about the 2017 Washington County Cheese Tour. And that's happening September 9 and 10. Plus, I sit down with Dave Krause. Now, he's a member of the Mohawk Hudson Cyclist Club. He's here to talk about their upcoming Century Cyclist Weekend in Saratoga. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Then give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Pretty fancy, huh? Well, as promised, we've got a new feature. It's called Your Look where we're going to talk about comments you give us on Facebook. Um, we did post a question what you thought about gun shows. We did not receive comments. Apparently, it's too sensitive an issue. However, we did premiere our program, Her Look. We got a bunch of comments on it, and one really stood out from Roberta in Albany. She said, have been so looking forward to this show. Love, 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 love it. Natural warmth of Donna's hosting skills to the conversations with the inspiring, empowering women she spoke with can relate to it all. Wow, this is wonderful. So every day we're going to do this. Uh, why don't you tell us, go to Facebook and tell us what your favorite SPAC concert was this year. Now you can give us your comments. You go to Facebook and find your look post and then make a comment. And we'll fill you in tomorrow night on your look. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. Uh, just really one look out tonight. I was thinking about what I just asked you for in your look. Your favorite SPAC performance. I'm not sure it's over. Case in point, last night was SPAC on stage. Tempo Libre played. Man, was that good. You know, the SPAC on stage setup is very interesting. The band turns around and faces in, and the seats are around the performers right on the stage. Well, everybody was up and dancing like crazy. I mean, Tiempo Libre has a drummer who's like a Cuban, Keith Moon. This guy was amazing. The whole band was amazing. Horns, the whole nine yards. Just a terrific evening. Tonight on Look TV, it's Queensbury Town Board Meeting. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Buenas noches, everyone.